And a direct kick opportunity for Burlington Central. And an early test here for the Golden Warrior defense. We played about 10 minutes. And right now we are scoreless. And the uh, direct kick sails towards the goal. And it's going to go up into the air. And it is going to go over the top. And Kyle Mason climbed the ladder. Got way up into the air. Deflected that over the top of the net. And we remain scoreless. Boy, Mason did a great job there. That direct kick was nearly perfectly placed. But... Kyle able to get just a fingertip on it to keep it out of the net, and now a corner kick opportunity for Burlington Central. We stay scoreless here, but that was close. As Burlington Central almost scoring on a direct kick, and now they're going to score on a header off the corner kick. Burlington Central on a deflection scores on a header, and Burlington Central draws first blood on the, the deflection. Eric Uribe... Scoring for Burlington Central at the 29-34 mark. The sophomore fires the ball up ahead, trying to get it to Conrado Solis, but headed out of there nicely defensively by Burlington Central. And in transition are the Rockets. Pushing quickly up the far side. Brenner back, Cromek back, shot on goal is wide, just wide. And it, wow, that was a... Fortunate that Mason stayed with that, Jason, because that ball took a funny hop there, and it was uh, dancing right out. Well, I guess they did say that, that it went across the end line and then came back in play, so now it will result in a corner kick for the Rockets. That yeah, looks like another uh, good defensive play by Brenner there, just getting it off his foot and then out of bounds. Here's the corner kick. It's long and then headed right into the hands of Kyle Mason. It has been just over 40 minutes of play since Burlington Central scored the only goal of the game way back in the first half. Still 1-0 right now. Long free kick upfield. Riappel controls, loses it, gets it back, and now passes the ball upfield. And they've got an opportunity. Oh, nice defensive Great play. Great play by Navarro to get down there and get that ball out. But Still uh, trouble inside the 18. And the ball Carlo. kicked out by Gallardo. By Gallardo, and uh, it'll be a corner kick here, but... Danny Navarro with a good defensive play because it looked like Burlington Central had a player coming free one-on-one -on -one against Kyle Mason. So the foul called, the foul called on Burlington Central and a huge opportunity right here, Jason Austin, as a penalty kick and it is going to be freshman Conrado Solis. Yeah, it looked like a very aggressive header there that Burlington was a little too aggressive with, and I was a chance to tie it up. One nothing, play. one nothing in Burlington Central on top. The penalty kick for Solis, and yeah! he missed it. It's uh, kicked away. Yeah! It's saved nicely by Burlington Central. Sterling misses. The ball's still loose out in front of the net, and it goes out. Yeah! Out on the near side. Sterling has a penalty kick opportunity, and they come up empty. Gutierrez wins that battle. Then, uh, well, it almost went out, but saved nicely by Burlington Central. And here come the Rockets the other way. Pass up the left side. They switch the field as well, Burlington Central does. Brenner back defensively. Now into the penalty box area. Shot deflected out of there. Now it's loose out in front, and Kyle Mason goes to his knees to thwart that Burlington Central effort. So the clock ticking here with 5.12 to go in regulation. Sterling down one to nothing. And the ball headed forward by Burlington Central. Now an opportunity out in front. Brenner playing defense, shot on goal, and a nice diving save by Kyle Mason. By Kyle Mason. Wow. Great save. One minute left. Can Sterling save its season? Cromack deflects it out front. Aggressive play there by Cromack. He's made two of those. Good plays. Ocampo to Gutierrez. Now long up court pass. Trying to get it to Conrado, Conrado Solis. Solis out in front. Solis with a shot and uh, right at the goalie. It is. a chance. Yes, Sterling did. Solis had an opportunity. 40 seconds left. Now, Jason, is there enough time to get another one? Just a second to go, and that's going to do it. Burlington Central wins the sectional championship as they knock off Sterling one to nothing. As Burlington Central gets a, a goal from Eric Uribe, 
Jason, 11 minutes in, in the first half, and they hold on and they win it one to nothing. You know, my guys, they were mentally prepared for this, physically prepared, you know, they gave it their all, they left it all on the field. Um, just things didn't go their way, you know. We don't really consider, um, well, I don't want to disrespect uh, Burlington, but the 1-0 lead, you know, that was kind of a little bit of luck. And, you know, my guys were trying to t tell my guys to take it that way, you know, and, you know, at the end they pushed hard, you know, from start to finish, they, they fought the whole way. And that's all that mattered. Yeah, absolutely. You know, your offense had some opportunities, uh, you know, to do some things. But for the most part, their defense was solid and didn't give you a, a lot of good opportunities. So, you know, why was their defense so effective tonight, uh, in your opinion? Um, when we watched them uh, play Freeport, you know, we just, it seems like they're, they're back four. And then also one of their center mids, just they communicate well. They just read each other, you know, perfectly. And that's a, that's a really tough situation. You have to play your passes right. You know, the off-the-ball runs have to be timed just right. And, you know, today it was just hard to get around that. The uh, penalty kick that Conrado had, I guess, you know, sometimes you mentioned luck. Uh, penalty kicks sometimes are luck. It's a matter of the, the goaltender guessing the right direction. He guessed the right way, and, and it didn't happen. Uh, w were you confident when uh, Conrado got the chance on the PK that he'd be able to put it in? Well, I mean, you know, Conrado's been my clutch player in the playoffs, and, you know, I just, to be honest, I didn't think anything. I was like, okay, this is in. You know, Conrado's got this, you know. And... You know, maybe he overthought it. Maybe he was thinking too much in his head that, you know, and psyched himself out. And, you know, it did get to him. We had to pull him aside a little bit and say, look, you know, shake it off. Go back in there and be that clutch player. And, you know, he's a freshman. He's young. He's got a lot to learn. And he still has, you know, a lot more time to improve on things. And that's one of the things, you know, just that, that game experience for the big situations like that. You know, you can't expect too much from a freshman.